if you have uh, purchased one of these inverters to basically plug it to your car battery or a boat battery or any 12 volt battery and you by mistake revert inverted the uh, the polarity while going onto the battery you probably noticed a nice big spark and afterwards the inverter doesn't work anymore so if that has happened don't throw away your inverter all you have to do is to change the fuse and uh, unfortunately um, the fuse on this inverter is not in a externally placed where you can just remove it and change it I don't understand why they would make such a bad uh, manufactured product it's rather inside so you have to dismantle the whole circuit board and then you will see two fuses of 25 amps directly soldered onto the circuit board so all you have to do now is to go and uh, desolder those fuses uh, right here and here for one and then here and there for the second one once you desolder those then you have to go buy those flat uh, fuses and uh, basically it's the mini fuses that you find in uh, a lot of the newer cars and uh, as you can see this one is completely fried so you need to replace them with uh, newer fuses so now I'm gonna have to solder this onto the circuit board actually two of them because there is a two slots in there and then after that I'll uh, close up the machine so I was able to uh, stick the terminals in by uh, melting the solder a little bit and then sucking some of the um, extra solder with this um, it wasn't super super easy but you can do it if you keep on trying it so now uh, I'm gonna solder it and as you can see the new uh, fuses are right there so I'll solder that up and uh, cut the extra lead and then start uh, closing it up alright so I applied the solder now and then I can cut the extra leads and then uh, close it up next thing is to slide the um, PCB board uh, in the casing there is a rail so right there slide it from one end and uh, once you slide it in you have to basically uh, grab these uh, transistors and uh, stick it to the walls on the side which act as a heat sink and those are mounted with these little um, metal brackets with the screw so basically just take these and then um, from the outside you put the screw and then from the inside you hold a little metal bracket there and then mount it on the side so you have to do that one two three times so now I put all of those um, word of advice if you don't have small fingers maybe somebody can help you help you help you by holding these with a little plier but if you have small fingers and you can fit them in there and then put the screw from the other side well then you're lucky you can do it so uh, first put them don't tighten them too much so that the board can move inside freely and once you can mount all three then you can start tightening them slightly and then you're good to go to put now the grounding wire onto the board here and then you can continue by closing it up okay so now I also put the uh, grounding here so now you can hold one part in there maybe start screwing it and then you have to now basically slide this in from uh, one end so yeah definitely it's easier to uh, the plug ends uh, put your four screws with the uh, uh, lock uh, washers and then after that slide in uh, the cover and then finish up by uh, closing up the other four screws right there 
So, finally closed it up. Now all I have to do is uh, to verify if it's working. And I just plugged it onto a 12 volt lead acid battery. And as you see, the LED light is working. So, it was a matter of changing the fuse. Do I recommend buying this? No. The fuse should definitely be somewhere on the outside because I don't think everybody is going to go through the pain to uh, change the fuse on a circuit board. It should be somewhere outside like in the back or uh, right up front. But uh, what do you want? That's how it was made this one. So that's it. This one uh, has a second life now and uh, it can function well. Just Please be careful, <laughs> you do not want to reverse the polarity and have to go through fixing this. Hope this video helps you fix your own undulator. Good luck.